Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I will talk about being born again. The importance of being born again and why we should be born again. I'm going to read from John chapter 3 verse 1 to, to 7. John chapter 3 verse 1 to 7 Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God was not with him. Jesus replied, very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. N how can someone be born again? Be born when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second, a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit and of the spirit flesh give birth to the flesh but the spirit give birth to the spirit you should not be surprised at the me by at my saying you must be born again the wind blows wherever it pleases you hear its sounds but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going so it is with everyone born of the spirit so Jesus talked about baptism that is very essential for entering the kingdom of God. And he is talking about two types of baptism. The first baptism is water baptism. That people should be born of water by being in baptism but what's the meaning of baptism baptism means to be immersed in water in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit um according to jesus after when he finished his ministry here in the world after when he was raised from the dead the first the last thing he told the disciples Go and make people the disciples by baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So we can see that the baptism is very, very essential for the kingdom of God. So bef after, before anything, just remember that baptism is 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 like a covenant with Jesus that you people should th go through this baptism is been made by people and after this there is another baptism and this baptism is the baptism of the holy spirit but the baptizer of the holy spirit is Jesus himself according to According to Matthew chapter 3 verse 11, um, John the Baptist he was telling the people that were coming to be baptized by him and he told them, I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me will come one powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with Holy Spirit and with fire. The baptizer of Holy Spirit and fire. And he was talking about Jesus Christ. So it is Jesus himself who baptized people with fire, with Holy Spirit and fire. And um, maybe I just have to finish here today. And um, if you have any question, you have understood and have question about it, and I will continue again about the baptism of Holy Spirit and fire. To the next video, I'm going to...
tell you more about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Praise the living God. I am just deciding and I'm suggesting you to if you are first time to visit the channel to subscribe and to share and to comment and ask something if you did not understand and um, we'll talk again more about this. Praise the living God.